Welcome to Last Bench Lizana. Now we are going to discuss about data independence and database instance in DBMS. Database consists on different objects like schema, tables, views, constraints, cursor, procedures, functions, packages, synonyms, etc. They have their specifications, tasks and values in the database. But they all differ from what we see on the monitor. That is, what we see on the monitor is the user-friendly display of the data. Actual structure and data are stored in different way. They are storage information about the data and object structure. They are magic information about the objects like their names, columns in them, total number of records, their indexes and constraints, mapping between the tables, functions or procedures used in packages, etc. They are exact value for each record which are shown to the user. All these informations are different from each other in their own way. Here, levels of abstraction can be divided into three types. Physical level, logical level and view level. Let us see all of them. Each data value and structure details of the database objects are stored in magnetic tapes, magnetic disk, optical disk, etc. Thus, information are usually the basic storage information of any computer. This kind of information is called physical storage information and is usually lowest level of information. They are at least known to the any programmer. This is called physical level of data. The information like table or view names, their columns, syntaxes and constraints on them, mapping between the tables or all the next level of information related to database. This information defines the structure of the objects in the database. These are called logical levels of data. The developer and the database administrator will have the knowledge about this data. The user will get to see only the data stored in the database. Either they will see whole data values or any specific records. They will not have any information about how they are stored, what kind of data type it has, uh, how many records it has, etc. This level of abstraction is called view level. For example, in a student table, records of each student are sees or view level of information, columns, their data types, their mapping and constraints uh, like primary key, foreign key information are the logical level of information, the actual structure of the table and data are stored in server's memory. This is physical level of information. Physical level of abstraction is the lowest level of abstraction and view level of abstraction is the highest level of abstraction. Low level schema changes will not affect the high level schemas and their applications. Based on this level of abstractions, we have two types of data independence. One is physical data independence, another one is logical data independence. Suppose there was a changes in the memory size of the database servers. This will not affect the logical structure of any data objects in the database. They are completely independent of the physical structure. This is called physical data independence. Any changes to the database objects like changes to the table structures, size or addition or removal of the columns from the table will not affect the user views. They will see the data like before. This is called logical data independence. By these two types of data independence, the isolations between the physical and logical layer is achieved. This helps in reducing the time and cost occurred by changes in any one level in the database. Hence, the main purpose of the database to provide abstract view of the data is achieved. Database instance. What is an instance of database? Let's consider a database with employee and department tables. Each of the tables will have their own set of records. As there is addition of new employee, new employee records will be inserted into the table. When the employee moves out from the department, his records will be updated or deleted. Similarly, if there are any changes to the department, the respective details will be modified or deleted. Any new department details will be added to the department table in time. There is a continuous changes to the records in the database objects. There will be either increase or decrease in the number of records or there will be changes in the existing data. Any particular point in time, 
there would be one particular set of records exist in each of the objects satisfying all the condition of the database. This is called an instance of database. That is, at any particular point in time, what is state of the database with the data values in its objects is called database instance. It changes from time to time. This database has employee and department tables with their own set of data. It shows different values of objects at different time. See here at 5 pm, employee and department tables look like this. We can add new record to the employee table at 5 1 pm. After that, it looks like this. At 5 2 pm, employee ID 1 or 2 has been deleted from employee table. Then it looks like this. Each set of employee or department data set represents instance of the database. Would you need more updates? Subscribe here. Thank you for watching.